Hey guys, welcome back to another lecture in G Textile. Today we'll discuss working principle of carding machine. In a spinning line, the main objective is to produce a yarn. To produce a yarn, the sequence or series of machines are present which are connected to each other, starting from blow room, carding, draw frame, combing, which is an optional process, then robing, the last is spinning, in which finally yarn is formed. In a typical cotton spinning mill, starting from blow room, the output produced from blow room that is lap or in the form of shoe. That output act as a feed material for the next machine is called carding. Again from the carding machine output is produced called carded sliver. Again carded sliver act as a feed material for the draw frame machine and the output is drawn sliver. Then the combing process which is optional output it is producing that is comb sliver. Drawn or comb sliver can be act as a feed material for the robing, the output is robing. The last part is spinning in which finally yarn is formed from robing. Carding is the stage that occurs between blue room line and draw frame. The feed system of carding machine is two types. First one is lap feed system in which the sheet of cotton fiber obtained from blue room line just wrapped over a cylindrical roll. Another system is suit feed system in which the small top cotton fiber directly fed to carding machine from blow room line. By the help of pneumatic pipe or pneumatic means the pressurized air or suction arrangement which is helping to transfer the fiber from output section of blow room line to input section of carding machine. Irrespective of feeding system in carding machine, the fibers are normally arranged in haphazard manner or unoriented manner. These fibers consist of several types of impurities. Examples are dust particles, truss particles, grass particles, foreign particles, seed particles, nebs and short fibers, etc. These impurities should be removed during cutting process. That's why cutting machine can be defined as is the phase of opening and cleaning and it is accomplished through the series of rollers and their wear clothing. The objectives or the functions of carding machine are opening of individual fibers, also called individualization of fibers. This is the task of carding machine comes in the category of opening because without opening the cleaning of fiber is just impossible. That's why the first objective is dealing with individualization of fibers. After individualization or opening, the cleaning process starts. The next objectives are elimination of impurities, elimination of dust, disentanglement of nebs. Nebs is the small entanglement of fibers that is removed during carding process. Elimination of short fibers. Then due to mixing of different grade of cotton fiber in feeding zone of carding machine, the blending or mixing process is happening within the carding machine. And the number of parallel fiber also increasing due to orientation of fibers. The last process is sliver formation due to use of one condenser also called trumpet. The sliver is formed after condensing the carded web. A series of rollers present inside the carding machine. Each roller consists of different in structure and different in diameter, different in speed, different in direction of rotation and different in wear clothing. This different individual profile of different rollers are helping to accomplish all the objective involved in carding machine. If you are talking about material passage in carding machine, it starts from its feeding zone. Feeding zone consists of feeding of lap or any modern system just like a tube feed system. Then lap roller, feed plate, feed roller. This feeding individual unit helping to pass the fiber towards liquorine. Liquorine is the first unit after feeding zone. In between liquorine and main cylinder, the action is taking place is called stripping action. It is helping to open the material into individual flocks or individual tuft. After this opening, the fiber transferring to main cylinder. In between main cylinder and another unit present on the top surface of cylinder is called flat. The action is taking place is called carding action. 
in between cylinder and flat the action is taking place is called carding action by this action the individualization of fiber taking place along with cleaning and elimination of all types of impurities happening after this zone the next zone is called doffing zone or transferring zone this is happening in between doffer and main cylinder after this zone the last is take off unit or coiling zone in which the saliva is formed by the help of condenser or also called trumpet the saliva is formed from the carded wave or drafted strand of wave coming from main working zone the structure of saliva seems like a rope which is continuous in length and in each cross section the bunch of fibers are present that saliva is normally stored in a can in coiling manner the coiler calendar roller is helping to store the saliva in a can in coiling or cyclodel manner